Hi everyone, I'm Brian Tracek, Product Manager at Pepperell & Fuchs for the Field Bus and Remote I.O. products. Today we're going to be discussing our LB Remote I.O. system. The LB stands for Local Bus and the Remote I.O. system is an easy way to take your conventional 4 to 20 discrete input signals and put them onto a digital field bus. Uh, the advantages of this are now you can eliminate or reduce the number of uh, I.O. cards you need in your DCS cabinet, which is going to in turn make your cabinet smaller, using up less real estate and saving you money. Another advantage is if you have a device that doesn't have a field bus um, interface, you can then connect that into the remote I.O. system and put that onto a digital bus. The digital bus gives you more robust communication and uh, more reliable information back to the controller. And another great benefit is we're going to save you a lot of money on terminations and marshalling panels. Instead of having all of those point-to-point -point connections all the way back from the field to the control room, now they go to a local junction box with the LB and you make one termination to a single bus uh, cable and that one bus cable goes back to the control room and so one connection versus many is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of labor which all equals up to saving a lot of money. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the different components that make up the LB system. So the LB Remote I.O. is a backplane based remote I.O. system and we have various backplanes that offer you different numbers of slots according to the number of I.O. points that you have in your project. So a smaller project would have a smaller uh, backplane and a larger project could have a bigger backplane and even an extension backplane that connects to it using one gateway. Uh, the backplane contains redundant bus connections for the digital bus as well as a service bus connection which gives you access to diagnostic information uh, from the different gateways and I.O. modules that are plugged into the backplane. And then on the other side you have your power uh, bulk 24 volt connections as well as some uh, additional power boost for digital outputs. And you can see here that you have uh, different terminals along with guide rails for your different I.O. modules and uh, power supply and gateway. The first item that you're going to choose once you've got your backplane is going to be your bus gateway or bus coupler. So in this case we have a Profibus gateway and you can see all of the modules have LED indications and uh, they're simple plug and play hot swappable modules. Uh, the different bus gateways that we have are Profibus, Modbus RTU, Modbus TCP IP, and Foundation Field Bus. The next item that you can plug into your backplane are going to be uh, power supplies. These transform the bulk 24 volt uh, power connection into the voltages required for the different I.O. modules and the gateway. These can be redundant uh, as well as the gateways can be re redundant and uh, the power supplies are actually an N plus one redundancy. So here I have two plugged in. There's an additional slot for a third module. If one of these should happen to fail, uh, the third one would take over and you have two out of three redundancy. The uh, last part of the remote I.O. system is going to be your I.O. modules. Now, the I.O. modules, uh, again, just simply plug into the backplane. And you can see here we have a double wide module. This is for high density, uh, in this case, four channel thermocouple inputs. And we also have single slot modules. And this is going to be for uh, single channel or in the case of discrete inputs, uh, like a two channel. Uh, and we also have, uh, you can see a difference here between blue terminals and green terminals. So the blue terminals are for intrinsic safety, the green terminals are for general purpose. And then the last component that's going to make up your LB system is the actual terminal blocks that plug into the I.O. modules. Here we have all screw terminals. Uh, we also have a spring terminal available and 
Once you have all of that chosen, you have a complete LB system. 